Did you know engineers make the world go round? Well, I tend to think so. You probably think that you need a heavy background in STEM, which is true. You probably also think that it's a male-dominated industry, which is also true. The 47% of all the jobs that women held, only 24% were STEM-related. That was recorded back in 2015. But more and more women in leadership roles are leveraging STEM knowledge. I tend to think of that as a creative person, a creative engineer. But when you think of creativity, you may think of art, music, literature, and you don't really connect engineering and math, which is a miss, because engineering is evolving and using creativity in order to make a solution into reality. You have the whole left brain and right brain connection, right? The left brain is dealing with the analytical side, your numbers, your problem solving, and organization skills. While the right side is your creativity, the 3D forms, the art, but guess what? You need both to make your solution. Hello, my name is Mimi Irvin. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from Southern University, and I'm currently a project engineer at Floor. Have you all seen Black Panther? Wow, when you think of an animator, it's not pencil to the paper anymore. It is all software and digital. So STEM is definitely where, it at, where it's at. And you know what I call that? I wrap it up and I say they have STEM with style. Got STEM style is where it's at. So this is where it gets exciting. I love fashion. I am a lover of fashion, always have been, even though I'm an electrical engineer. So with that said, I want to come and I wanted to show you an aspect of how fashion is utilizing STEM and it's where it's going. I'm so excited to come talk to you today. We're gonna have and speak with the founders of Magpies and Peacocks, Ashia Berry and Sarah Jane Smith. Magpies and Peacocks is a nonprofit organization that's built around sustainability of textiles. They work with students all over, even from the Art Institute here in Houston and surrounding areas. And they take these students and they are able to design all aspects from recyclable material. So now I'm going to introduce you. Come on. Hi, how are you? So good to see mm, you. So good to see Hi, Mimi. Hi, yes. how are you? Good, good, good. So, everyone, this is Ashia Berry. Hi. And we have Sarah Jane Smith. Hi there. As you can see, 6,000 square feet of fun, but very sustainable. Um, and as we move into the future, STEM is huge. Mm -hmm. Almost all designers are using laser cut, 3D, some type of technology, all the way down to your actual shopping habits. Part of the sustainability acts, uh, aspect of what we do, um, a lot of the design and um, purpose of our collections is to educate people about the environmental damage of the fashion industry. Right. Well, some of the reasons that we have the problems have been caused by the technology aspect, right. shipping stuff around the world, mm -hmm. you know, the, the kind of global aspect have right. caused big problems. But it will be STEM that actually helps us create solutions. Here's one of the pieces we were talking about. This jacket was designed by Carlsbad Oster. It's actually made from Super Bowl material. It's actually old fencing material, actually. Um, we were part of the material reclamation of of the Super Bowl 51 last year when it was hosted here. Mm -hmm. And this was designed on the architecture of the Dynamo Stadium. She liked, specifically liked the origami aspect. Right. Now, origami obviously is not only mathematical, but it's the beauty aspect mm -hmm. is a key part. So in zero waste particularly, where you're using mm -hmm. an entire piece, where you're really relying on not just cutting that thing, but turning it into something without making any waste, wow. it's, a, it's a huge component to what we do. I love accessories. What about accessories? Is there anything from a stem? I mean, are we using math science to create jewelry? Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. Um, this piece in particular, we had some jewelry donated to us. Our artisan nest in Lee Lewis design. She took that jewelry and upcycled it. And as you can see, she did some laser cutting on here. Wow. So it was a lot of math right. into this and getting it to. And here's the funny thing when we upcycle things, we don't have a perfect ring size of six or seven or right. eight, yeah. but we know that it could sell and retail. So That is awesome. So knowing, and I've known you guys for a couple years here, 
now and me being an engineer, are you working with any organization, engineering base, or anyone that's come to you that has volunteered, that is from an engineering background that is interested in fashion? We are actually. We are. We have, we've taken on our first fellow who's going to be working with us on expanding what we do into a virtual garment district. Okay. Um, the virtual aspect obviously is being able to tie makers with raw materials mm -hmm. um, and production methods but in a virtual way. So we talked a lot today about how STEM and fashion works together. And I may be a little biased because I am a lover of fashion. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I talked also about other careers that utilize STEM, not just from engineering. And I call that Got STEM Style because that's what it is. Style is everything. It's the makeup of who you are and what you're doing with it. And STEM is just that added touch. So we're gonna talk and get some last sounding words from Ashia and Sarah Jane, just on how STEM has brought them to where they are. Totally, being a public relations and marketing professional, my business is to know other people's business and represent brands right. And of course, magpies and peacocks have to represent brands right. right. We're a sustainable nonprofit design house. So I have to know STEM in and out. Although I'm not necessarily designing the clothing, I need to know why when I'm preaching to the choir on why fashion is a second pollutant and why you need to give to our cause and our message. I kind of have to know the ins and outs. When I'm at events and I have on our jewelry and our clothing and people ask, right. I need to know the background right. on that clothing beyond just knowing the facts, but really knowing the facts. Exactly. And I've been a designer all my life, so I come at it from the perspective of the aesthetic aspect. Mm -hmm. But running our own business, especially running a social enterprise, it's really important that we know how to quantify what we do. Right. If it, we can't show measurable change in the way that we're tackling environmental problems within the fashion industry, then we really don't have a full picture. So it's an essential part. It's not a tool, it's right. an essential part of what we do. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you need both equally. You really need both left and right brains to yes. make it a success. There you go. So I would definitely conclude and say that we have STEM style. Definitely. We do. Yes. yes. We do. <laughs> so for you young ladies out there, think of STEM, not just like I said from the fashion aspect, but you need it. Um, thank you, Discovery. Thank you, Global Marathon 2018. Until then, later. Bye-bye.